This time I'm in Japan, touring Osaka, Nara and Wakayama. In this episode, we will be checking out the sights in the city, trying some local food and taking a day trip to Nara to hand feed the deer and lots more, so stick with us. Good morning from Gatwick Airport. <laughs> I'm on my way to Osaka in Japan. When I get there, I've got to pick up a SIM card. I'm gonna be renting a car later on in the trip and Google Maps offline is not available in Japan. The rights are owned by some other companies. So I thought getting a SIM card would be a good idea for directions because I have no idea where I'm going. But first, let's get to Osaka. Osaka is Japan's second largest city and its main gateway is here, Kansai Airport. I collected my prepaid SIM from EasyGo Japan and walked outside the terminal building to buy a bus ticket on a machine. There is a huge choice of destinations to choose from, so research where you need to get to and which bus number you need. There's also a train connection if you prefer. I was headed to Namba in the city centre. Tickets cost 1,100 yen and take about an hour. Walking from Namba, I got my first taste of the streets of Osaka. Well, here we have it. My room for the next four days, the Hotel Unizo in Osaka. It's the individual room. So it's a single bed, little seat, workspace. Have to put a special thanks out to Hotel Unizo for the extremely sexy pajama top. I'll be wearing that later. Let's check out the bathroom. Compact, right? <laughs> but I do like all of these freebies they give you. Basically everything you could ever need. So yeah. Very happy to be here now. It's been a long journey. Um, I don't know, maybe like 24 hours I've been up traveling. Um, the bus from the airport was dead easy. It's all like signposts in English. Um, and now that I have my SIM card in my phone, once I got to the drop-off point, I could just use Google Maps to direct me to the hotel, which was about a 15 minute walk. So I think now I'm gonna have a little lie down before going out and having a look around. Osaka is famous around Japan for its food. The options really are endless. Katsu, ramen and sushi is plentiful, as are street food snacks, fast food joints and a few Western choices mixed in too. The city of Kobe is just around the bay, so its famous beef is a must try if you've got the money to splash. Perhaps the most famous dish to sample is takoyaki, which are ball-shaped octopus dumplings. The streets around Dotonburi are crazy busy, but as you explore on foot, it's easy to find narrow alleys that lead to quieter restaurants and the back street temples offer solace just a few feet away from the neon craziness. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to the channel as part two of this video will cover the traditional Wakayama region.
I visited at the end of November, just when the winter light festivals spring up all over Japan. Twinkly lights across the country turn on to turn off the forthcoming winter blues. I just so happened to be here for the opening night. Morning. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning already. Um, I managed to get a good like nine, nine and a half hours solid sleep. I was knackered last night. Plan for today is to walk from my hotel to Osaka Castle, check out some other gardens that are in the south of the city. Uh, walking along, it's sunny, really like no clouds in the sky, but it's a little bit chilly. And I've got a t-shirt on, which, I don't know, it might be a mistake. Hopefully it'll get a bit warmer. Um, I think it's about 17 now, but there's a bit of a breeze. So um, yeah, it's cooling it down a bit. And tell you what guys, Google Maps on the phone is so handy here. I, it's not that hard to navigate, but there's just millions of roads and there's so many things to go and see. Like, it tells you how to get there on the metro, how to walk there. So I think it's definitely worth getting the SIM card. As with many places in Japan, the old and new are side by side. Japanese efficiency allows the two to mix perfectly. Osaka Castle Park is about two square kilometers and contains the castle itself, lots of trails and cafes too. There happened to be a religious parade on when I visited. These huge wooden carts looked super heavy to push and pull and you could hear the drums all around the park. There has been a castle on this site since 1583, but has been destroyed and rebuilt over the years. The structure here today was built in 1931 and somehow survived the war and was given a makeover in 1997. It costs 600 yen to enter if you fancy it, where there is a museum and observation deck I decided to save my money and make my way to collect my Shinkansen bullet train tickets that I had ordered online. I'll be using these later in my trip to travel to Tokyo. So I take that back about being cold. It's actually pretty hot once you get walking around. It is roasting and I'm parched. So I'm gonna go find a drink and I'm just on my way to the metro station to take the train to Shinosaka train station to try and collect my train tickets. Don't know if I fancy like an ice cold Coke Zero or a really nice frothy coffee. Probably get a Coke. 
easier, isn't it? The metro system is pretty big and covers all corners of the city and links the main Japan rail hubs of Shinosaka to the local and regional services too. You can buy a single use ticket or a multi-trip card. I mostly got around on foot, so stuck to just buying a ticket whenever I needed it. Ichiran is a chain restaurant offering a solo dining experience. Choose and pay whatever you want from the ticket machine and proceed to your booth. Your food will be delivered without having to say a single word to anyone. I ordered sticky pork topped with spring onions and a spicy pork ramen. The water tap on the left was a nice touch as I'd forgotten to order a drink. That was good. They used to found that place. Just looked to uh, search ramen on Google Maps, and uh, yeah, this place came up, so good find. I'm here in the Kitakuan Gardens. Very pretty, um, right in the middle of town. It's two seconds away from a big fancy shopping mall. Um, really easy to get to, either on the metro or just walking around. Tickets are 150 yen, although if you have the Discover Osaka special tourist ticket thing, um, then you can get in here with that. Really nice just to walk around, have a little sit down, enjoy the sun and the peace and quiet. I love how the very traditional manicured, peaceful gardens sit within the cityscape. A world away in atmosphere, but less than 100 metres from modernity. Harukas 300 is a free viewing point on the side of a skyscraper. You can pay 1500 yen to go to the very top if you want, but the free ones seem just as good and it's open till 10pm so you can see the city all lit up at night too.
Looking out over Osaka, you get a sense of the size of the city. The urban sprawl seems to go on forever. But I didn't find the city overpowering or daunting. Once you're there, everything is manageable. The people are friendly and polite, and it's a dynamic, exciting place to be. I just stopped at a um, vending machine, which there are millions in Japan. Bought a bottle of water. Turned out to be like an ion replacement drink, which sounds pretty feral. Um, also picked up a can of coffee, um, also really popular here. Um, let's give it a go. Mmm, milky. I hope I don't have to pay to park in Japan because that looked confusing. Although Osaka is a sprawling city of 3 million, the main attractions are easy to see on foot and you'll also be rewarded by coming across neighbourhood temples like these. Tsubo Park is not quite as traditional or as manicured as others in the city, but it's family friendly and the cool art installations and pretty flowers make it worth a visit. Another must-try dish when you're in Japan is ominamayaki. You sit in front of a hot grill, cook your choice of meat whilst you mix your batter of eggs, cabbage and flour. Once you are ready, form a thick pancake on the grill and cook through. Serve with mayonnaise and dried bonito flakes. It's delicious. The Shinsekai district was developed before the war and even today with its neon maze of roads, you can tell it apart from a more modern and glitzy Dothenburi area. Come here for the Eiffel Tower ripoff, cheap eats and games arcades. We're off to Nara today. It's kind of different town to Osaka, but you just grab a normal train there. It takes about 40 minutes. Um, I'm going to walk to Namba Station here in Osaka to take the train to Nara. Um, once there, it's a huge park. There's deer there, apparently. Temples, all kinds of things to see. Let's try and go get a ticket. We're going to be taking the 942 train. 
Tanara. So I arrived in Nara. It was dead easy on the train. Um, only thing is that you have to know what your fare amount is. It's done by um, a ticket cost rather than destination. Um, it cost me 530 yen one way from uh, Namba in Osaka. It takes about 45 minutes or so. And then it's like a five minute walk up from the station to the entrance of the park. I've already bought my deer biscuits, so let's go find some deer. The main attraction is the free to enter park. Within its huge area of 1,200 acres, there are various temples and walking trails, a museum and over 1,200 seeker deer. The deer are very docile and as you can see, love attention. I don't know, it's... Which one, another one? Deer. You can purchase deer crackers from various stalls around the park just for a couple of hundred yen and make some new friends. The deer will gently take the cracker from you and even bow to say thank you. <laughs> it's all gone. Yeah, you can bow all you like. It's not going to have any more. Sorry. <laughs> See ya. They are free to roam the park, so you'll see them crossing the roads, hanging out next to temples and trying their luck at the restaurants. Park is well signposted, so it's easy to explore on foot and not get lost. Despite large visitor numbers, you can still find quiet spots away from the crowds. Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples are dotted throughout the park, so just walk around and find a spot you like. There is a main strip of vendors close to the main temples to buy food and drinks from, but nothing available once you're inside the park.
There are lots of temples, but my favorite was Todaiji. It's the largest wooden building in the world and houses a 15 meter tall Buddha. Entrance to the Big Buddha and Museum is 1000 yen. I chose to spend my time feeding the deer. If you're in Osaka, I highly recommend coming to Nara. It's cheap and easy to get to on the train and it will give you a totally different experience compared to modern Osaka. And the deer are so cute. Next time, join me as I take a road trip out of Osaka to the Wakayama region. I'll be experiencing a traditional onsen. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Overnighting in a ryokan. Do I get a dinner in it? Visiting a stunning waterfall. Nanji waterfall, it's stunning. Riding a rickety mini wooden train and much more. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next part of my Japan adventure. Until next time, happy travels from the Memory Seekers.